Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, March 9th, 2021, and good news for all human beings. Things are starting to open up again after a year of stupidity and complete Neanderthal thinking that somehow wearing a mask and making people stay at home and closing businesses and closing schools and all kinds of draconian, authoritarian, non-scientific government overreach was somehow going to stop a virus. Uh, of course, none of that stuff means anything, uh, according to all the science of all time. And so, finally, I mean, I see that uh, like last uh, week or so, there was like this big news in Texas. Uh, the governor says, no more mask mandates, uh, open everything back up, and people celebrated, like, way to go, Texas. I'm like, way to go, Texas. Like, how about way to go a year ago, Texas? Like, they are supposed to be commended and celebrated for, after a year of stupidity, of finally ending the stupidity. But anyway, better late than never. So things are opening up all over the place uh, here in Arizona, uh, things are still uh, going on, uh, hospitalizations and whatever for, you know, old, obese, all the vulnerable, pe vulnerable people with the underlying uh, conditions and all that stuff. But uh, for normal people, things are being allowed to do things again. And spring training is going on, although limited people, but hopefully that BS stops soon. But a uh, very cool thing, I received an invitation. My neighborhood had a monthly party. Uh, for the last few years, and we we hosted it annually for a couple of years in uh, the month of August. Every month, our neighbors get together at a different person's home in a potluck. Everyone brings a dish and whatever they want to drink, and you know, forty, fifty, sixty people, whatever. Neighbors hang out and meet and mingle, and it's called the Flamingo Friday. The Let's Flamingle. Uh, well, that was canceled a year ago. Oh, we're not having it. And today, I received a message through Facebook group of our neighborhood, like, hey. It's back, starting up in April, we're starting Flamingo Friday again. I'm like, wow. So after a year of Neanderthal thinking of, oh, you don't, don't love your neighbor, you have to fear your neighbor. And this isn't the land of the free and the home of the brave, this is the land of the scared and uh, the home of the shutdown. Like, uh, thankfully all that is ending. That's good news for businesses, although businesses that have been paying attention and have been smart about things are having great times. Uh, some have been completely destroyed. Entire industries have been destroyed, but lots of businesses are doing fantastic. My clients are setting records and doing fantastically well. Hopefully you are too, paying attention to my blog, my videos, my, uh, my podcasts, whatever you're doing. Uh, you went over to Profit From Chaos and got my free report, How to Profit From Chaos. So many ways to make money during this fantastic, greatest time of opportunity of our lifetime. Pretty soon, I don't know how soon, but eventually we'll go back to normal and we'll have to actually, um, you know, look for problems to solve and, and search for ways to make things better. Right now, there are so many things that are so screwed up that anyone with the right mindset is looking to how can I solve problems? There's problems everywhere. However, looks like the Neanderthal thinking could be ending soon. Of course, there's still some, you know, I understand that the politicians and the media that's all invested in the BS that, uh, oh, you got to wear masks. No, you got to wear two masks. No, three masks and goggles and wash your hands seven times a day. And oh, don't go outside. No, don't stay inside. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't touch anyone. Even if you got vaccinate, vaccinated, oh, you still can't see anybody. All that BS, they're so... They're so uh, invested in it that they still keep up that nonsense. But uh, I think uh, not only are people tired of the BS, I think they're on to the whole nonsense. Uh, plus, you've got, uh, I mean, for all the, you know, the craziness, uh, you know, one thing Trump has always done his whole life is get things done. And this, these vaccines that are out there, that's got to be helping too. People getting vaccinated, the most vulnerable people, uh, people's attitudes that people are vaccinated, uh, herd immunity, whatever whatever stuff is going on. The virus seems to be, uh, the numbers are all plummeting, deaths and hospitalizations. Uh, certainly, of course, there's always gonna be people with 
underlying conditions, obesity, lung disease, heart disease, whatever unhealthy living they're doing, that this or any virus, the flu, kills thousands of people a year. So, of course, that's always going to continue. Car crashes kill people. We don't ban all cars. Like, thankfully, seems to be the world is getting back to normal. That's good news for even the laziest, uh, most uh, un, um, uh, uncreative business owners uh, that can get back and going. It's not going to be just the smart, sharp, uh, creative, uh, right-thinking business owners that will prosper. Now it looks like things will get back to normal, whatever that is. And so that's good news for everybody. And that's the news today. That's the topic that is topical here on Topical Tuesday. Seems like the world may be on to the whole BS. I mean, it helps that the guy who, you know, outward appearance and title is supposedly in charge in America, doesn't even know what day it is, doesn't even know what he's doing. So people have lost trust completely. And, and and they're recalling the governor on one coast. They're impeaching the governor on the other coast. The president is, you know, I mean, if they made this a movie, this demented guy that can't even string a sentence together and remember what day it is or where he is, is actually the president of the United States. I mean, if they made that a movie, nobody would believe it. I mean, all this BS. The people are just revolting against all that Neanderthal thinking and BS and opening back up. So congratulations to everybody. Let's celebrate. Let's have some fun. Speaking of which, I'll be back again tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday. Some business building tips how you can capitalize and make money on the internet. I'll catch you then. Thanks for being here today. Over and out. Bye-bye.